Welcome back. One and Done Racing, live from Junior Motorsports. We've got to get you saying the name right, Tom. It's One and Done Racing Radio One Show. One and Done Racing Radio Show. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'll, pra I'll practice during the next commercial. <laughs> All right. We're here at JR Motorsports. Again, remember the 2010 Race Week schedule of events this Wednesday. Come on out. Get your wristbands. Actually, you need to be out here now because people have been in line for a while to get these wristbands. Um, Thursday, the retail store is open from 8.30 to 5.30. Uh, they're going to have goodie bags for the first 50 fans. And then 10.30 to 11.30, the autograph session with Danica Patrick, Kelly Earnhardt, Eric Amarola, and Josh Wise. It's only 200 armbands, and it's, uh, it's uh, if time allows, they'll do more. But I'm guessing by the crowd that's already out there, <laughs> they're going to stop at 200. So get out here and get your armbands. Um, and then Friday, we've got the retail store and goodie bags, 8.30 to 5.30. We've got a, a radio remote. Saturday, we've got a really cool car show from 10 to 2. And we're actually broadcasting live from that. So uh, there's a ton to do. Just drop by here every single day. You're going to see something going on. And uh, don't shy away from the retail store either because they've got some cool stuff down there. Um, Patrick, have you built your retail store yet? Nope, nope, nothing. You're a champion now. You gotta have like <laughs> we gotta have all kind of stuff built now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get cool and call it merch. I hear everyone. You get the it uh, Patrick Shelter bobblehead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get There's a lot an idea of stuff for you, Chris. I need one of those squeeze on things, so when I get mad at him, I could just squeeze it and throw it across the room. <laughs> Very cool. Those stress reliever yeah. things. Yeah, it's been better than posting it on Facebook. Yeah. Exactly. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm mad at Patrick. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. Oh, yeah. Um, he I'm just does it a few me. times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't use his name. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, I think we've started to see a trend in ARCA that it was considered a driver development series a couple years ago, and people were coming in and running just one and two races. I think people are realizing now you've got to run a whole year um, and get to the road course races, get to the short track, get to the dirt track. There is no other series like ARCA that goes all the way from a dirt track to tracks like Winchester. I know they don't go to Winchester anymore, but Winchester, Salem. Really, next year? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So Winchester, Salem, Toledo, tracks that have a lot of history to your Daytonas, your Talladegas, and then your mile and a half. And let's be honest, a mile and a half are the bread and butter of every single series. So you have to go there and get comfortable with those. Um, but it's so special that ARCA allows all of those different type racing. Um, the only thing I'd love to see them do is come up with more of a standard car so you don't have to have a road course car, you don't have to have a, a dirt right. car, you don't have to have a super speedway car. It would be cool if they could come up with like almost like a standard car, standard body location to make it a little more cost effective. But that had to have helped you to go to all those different type racetracks. Yeah, it does. You know, the the, the whole diversity of, of all the different racetracks you go to is is. It just helps you whenever on your career, whenever you're ready to move up, because you know the truck series run a lot of the same tracks as ARCA. Yeah, nationwide do and Cup. So, I mean, it's just you get all the experience you need on the mile and a half, super speedway, short tracks, and you know you won't need the the dirt experience, but uh, <laughs> it's still fun to go around them. You prior, may. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was gonna say prior to running ARCA, did you have any dirt experience? That's where I actually came okay. from. Was dirt uh, super late models on oh, wow. dirt? Awesome. So cool. The Woo and, and UMP and stuff like that. That's yeah. where we came from. So, so you was, look forward to the dirt stuff. I did. I did. But, man, whenever I first got in there, it was totally different. And uh, I was like, man, this right here ain't the same. Doesn't so, exactly uh, fall. You need to ask him what he did this year on the dirt race that he won. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, we passed nine cars on this restart. No, before that. <laughs> Oh, I hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to well, say that. Well, he liked that. the part about passing <laughs> so the cars on the restart. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. more positive. <laughs> <Did Exactly. you? laughs> no, I think it was more positive. Mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, he destroyed the car and then come back and won the race. Yeah. So you won with the car that you destroyed? Yep. No. Lap 50, I was trying to pass the lap car on the outside, got into the wall, backed it in, left rear, yeah. bent the rear clip, everything. Wow. Uh, that After that, about five laps into the next run, uh, Tim George and Justin Marks got into it. Got tangled up in that, bent the whole right front. You know, everything was <laughs> melee on it. Came back on the next restart. There was probably about 15 to go or something. Jumped on the outside and passed them all, come down the front stretch, and we took it home. I, so I you bent it, it right. I, yeah, that's what I told him. The car yeah. wasn't handling that great, and then we bent it right, so it was good. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to bend it, bend it correctly. Exactly. <laughs> that was dirt, you know, That's that sometimes happens. You know, you go up there and hit the wall, and you get faster. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should take trucks to dirt. I, I think trucks on the dirt would be pretty cool. I, I still want to see Cup on dirt. 
Nah, yeah, I, I mean, know. they could be fun. I know, like, Tony, I know Tony wants to go dirt racing. <laughs> why not? If Arca can do it, why can't Cup do it? <laughs> I think all the series should have one, at least one dirt race. Yes. How'd you do on the road course? Uh, we were good there for a while until I kept hitting the curves and breaking the, the shock towers out of the rear. So really? We, yeah, on the pit stops, we'd have to come in and weld them back in, and I'd go back out and break <laughs> you, them out again. I'm so. sorry. You were <laughs> welding under pit stops? Oh, yeah. So you guys really never gave up. I mean, this nope. is like wow. a theme of the year. Yep. That, is that, that was our whole motto this year was all, to all the guys, never give up. Yeah. No matter what happens, never give up. So. Yeah, and, and, you know, you've been uh, – I've been a part of some teams where, um, you know, if you break a shock mount, it's the end of the day. Or if you rear clip it, you know, let's just not ride around. But you right. – and is that, that may be a function of also you guys being the team owner – is, hey, we're not giving up. I know right. what this car is, and I don't care if we damage it more. We're going to go out there, and we're going to run the snot out of it. And yep. it ended up getting you a win and ended up getting you points at the road course race. That's yep. that's huge. Yeah, you know, uh, we came in, instead of changing four tires, we took the two off of it and had the welder go underneath it and was welding shock tires back in it and putting the tires back on and rolling <laughs> out. So and that was it wow. was pretty big. But uh, it worked. It got us points. And uh you know, that could have been the, the points that we needed to Absolutely. win the championship. Well, I mean, Who coming knows? down to 20 at the end of the year, you got to imagine that that, that, was, that was a huge part exactly. of it. Exactly. You know, every point we could have gained through this whole year added up, and it all played out in our, in our favor. Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, he was running the top 10 with that broken shock tower. We lost the motor in the last lap, and he still finished 13th. So You just coast in? Yeah, he just coasted. Nice. In. So. Yeah, I think Chad McCombie pushed us across the finish line. Wow, oh, that was <laughs> nice. That's cool. That was cool. Yeah. So, nice. Um, your family's involved in construction, I believe, correct? Yes. And you've got some business-to-business -business sponsors. Plug those a little bit. I know you got Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson Pipe. They are they're our big uh, pipe supplier down home. Yep. Oh, that's who we get all of our pipe from. Uh, you got American Concrete and stuff like that. You know, cool. for all that stuff, uh, they, we get all of our concrete from them. Uh, Tequesta Road and Bridge is actually a bridge job that we just got through with in Tequesta. Oh, cool. So the mayor of the town there said, hey, I want to be on the hood of the car for the last two races. So Nice. Chris got with them and everything, and mom and dad, and we put them on the hood of the car for the last two races there. That's so that cool. was pretty cool. And then I'm sure you all know Terry Jones, Jones Group. Yeah. Um, he came on board for the last four or five races here. That's cool. And helped us out a little bit. So uh, he's an awesome guy. Was he trying to get in the, in, in the car? Uh, you know him, man. He's crazy. Yeah. There's no telling. So, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, he, he ran a truck at Michigan, and uh, uh, it was blowing up during qualifying. And he and I were talking during the driver's intro, and I said, "What are you going to do?" Because I'm going to run until it blows up. <laughs> yeah, I said, "What he if will. it blows up going to the corner?" He said, "Well, I'm probably going to wreck." <laughs> yeah, he don't care. He's so, he's an awesome right. guy. He's an yeah, awesome guy. And so. Michigan's his hometown, so he had to he had to he had to make the start out there. Oh so. yeah. Well, good luck with everything, man. We really appreciate you guys coming on. Um, I uh, I can't wait to see what the next step is, but I'm excited for it, and I'll definitely keep rooting you on. I love the family-owned team. I love the idea. Um, you guys you know, have to run a lean operation and have to be efficient at what you do, and you guys show that you could do that against some pretty big money. And, oh, and yeah. um uh, you know, not slighting any of the guys that finish second or third or, or even run in the series and were top ten, but there's some money getting thrown around in ARCA these days. There is. I there mean, is a lot of money getting thrown around yeah. in there. there there's, you, you got you two guys, RCR cars, you know. For, you know, you had Ty yeah. and, and Tim. You know, that's a lot of money right there coming into the series. You got Eddie Sharp. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, Cunningham. You got Cunningham with uh, affiliated with Penske and everybody yeah. else. You know, there's a lot of money and a oh, lot yeah. of talent coming through here. So uh, to win this is, is pretty big. That's really cool. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we're just going to talk a little bit about the weekend activities, recap whatever racing happened. I don't even remember what racing happened. Tom, you, you'll have to keep me in on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that when we come back. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back here from JR Motorsports here in Mooresville, North Carolina on One and Done Racing Radio, WSIC and WDSL. Living the same small 